Hey, it's Feroz from Live and Grow. Let's take a look at the lingonberry and understand how to identify it in the wild. Let's kick things off by talking about where lingonberries like to grow. These hardy little plants have a knack of popping up in some pretty varied places. Personally, I've stumbled upon them in serene forests of Finland and even in the rugged heathlands of the Scottish Highlands. They really thrive in acidic, well-drained soils and you'll often find them nestled in mossy patches under the cover of pine, spruce and birch trees. They're not just limited to these spots though. You can find lingonberries all across the Northern Hemisphere, particularly in Scandinavia, Russia, and even parts of North America. Lingonberry plants are low growing, forming these dense evergreen mats that just blanket the forest floor. They usually don't get much taller than 10 to 40 centimeters. Now let's get into the leaves. Lingonberry leaves are small, oval shaped, and have this almost leathery texture to them. They're a deep dark green on top with a nice glossy finish and if you flip them over you'll notice they're a bit paler underneath. The edges of the leaves are slightly rolled under and can be a little bit toothed though the teeth are usually so tiny you might not even be able to notice them at first. The leaves are alternately arranged on the stem which gives the plant its dense bushy look. Of course we can't forget about the berries. Lingonberries are small, round and a vivid bright red growing in little clusters at the tips of the stems. When you eat them fresh, they've got this tart, slightly bitter kick to them, but a good frost or a bit of cooking, they mellow out and become sweeter. These berries are ready to pick in late summer to early autumn, usually from August to October. And let's be honest, who hasn't picked up a jar of lingonberry jam from Ikea to go with some meatballs? It's a classic for a reason. If you enjoy foraging, check out this video here. Cheers.